you've seen Shimo, you've seen Godzilla, but have you seen Scar King? You probably have. Be honest with yourself. This is the Playmates Scar King uh, action figure, whatever you want to call it. Playmates Scar King, Red Ape, Santa Ape, same difference. So, this is going to be my review on this figure. So, I'm going to start with the sculpt, and I'm going to get straight to the point. The sculpt is great everywhere except the head. The head looks completely derpy. He looks like he just smoked something. He looks crazy. He looks wild. He looks angry. All of the above. Everywhere else, the sculpt looks great. He can even stand. If you can get him there, he can even stand by himself. The sculpt on his arms is good. He's got um a swivel at the hand, little whatever you call it up here, ball joint up here, same thing on the other arms. Legs, he's got a little swivel, little little twisty-wisty right there. No swivel at the foot like the other figures. He's got full rotation at the head. You can probably do more than that unless you want to not twist it off. So his articulation and sculpt, pretty decent. His paint job is all right. Honestly, it's kind of terrible. When you get to the arms especially... The paint just doesn't line up unless you want to completely twist his elbow and have his arm like that, which looks completely uncanny. You can have his arm sideways. Another thing about this figure is that um, some of the paint on his chest area doesn't look very cleaned up. It does The red, especially around his chest down here, doesn't look very clean. And that's the paint job. Paint job like a solid 6 out of 10. It's not as good as the Shimo. It's not as good as the Godzilla back here. The only plus this figure really has in terms of the sculpt that makes it different and cool and new than like figures like the Godzilla and the Shimo is that first of all, it's not Godzilla and it's not Shimo. And it doesn't have a tail that'll fall off like Godzilla's back there. If you saw my last video, his tail won't go on. No matter how hard I try. Now, time for this figure's main accessory. You can take off his whip. Put it in his hand, like so. And now you've got a whip of a bone that's completely twisted. That you can't really do much with because it's completely twisted the entire time. I don't, I don't like the whip. It's made of like a not very high quality like rubber. And it's just going to stay bent in this circle for the rest of time. You can't pose it. You can't move it at all. Solid, like, 3 out of 10 accessory. Even Godzilla's atomic breath is better than the whip. And that's saying something. Because it's a his atomic breath is kind of boring, honestly. The whip sucks, honestly. It's good if you want it to be. It's good if you're in, like, complete, utter denial about this figure. He's also got a rotation down here. I forgot to mention that. Um, The whip, again, like 3 out of 10. This figure's overall rating for me, probably a 7 out of 10. Its articulation's incredible compared to the other figures. Its sculpt isn't very great, and its paint isn't very great, and the whip is just completely subpar in terms of quality, play function, and he just looks better with it around his chest. So let's get that back on him. Come on, get that. It's also really hard to put back on his chest. You got to kind of pop it in there. It looks way better with it on his chest. Just keep it on there unless you're posing him to like fight Kong. And even then you can't because it's going to stay locked in that one position. That is the Playmates Scar King. Santa Ape, Red Ape, whatever you want to call them. And that's the end of this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one.